This is a new love reading for Leo, the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, welcome everyone. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. So let's see what the energy is for a new love for our Leo friends. Okay. Three shuffles. We're going to cut the deck here. Let's see what we have. And at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is a five of coins. Okay. So, you know, this is the key is right there. The door is here. So we're going to help you see the way to the light of a new relationship in the recent past. You have, you have been looking at things from a different perspective and you're really, not, you haven't drawn any conclusions yet though. What we're seeing here is that you, you feel as though you know what you want, but you're not settled in that energy yet. Currently we have someone chasing after you, Leo, Leo. Well, that's not unusual, is it? Somebody wants to tell you something, Leo. They have a lot to say to you. They're running very quickly towards their motorcycle to hop on. The way you view the situation that you're currently in, in terms of just your life and your journey, is that you're really transforming your life right now. We see this beautiful cloak, you know, very passionate, desire for passion, for a beautiful star in your life, and you are attracting that right now. How people view you, Leo, you are being very mysterious. <laughs> you are be keeping your, you're keeping quiet. You're letting your intuition just guide your way right now. We see you in this beautiful energy. You know, you love to nurture a relationship. You really want somebody who's enlightened. You want somebody who's outspoken. You want somebody to hang out with, you know, you don't want to have any doubts. You just want a lot of clarity in your relationship. And you're getting it just by being quiet, you know, keeping your own counsel, not really talking too much to other people about things. In your heart space, the Three of Cups, you want to be with your best friend. The core of friendship is so important to you in a relationship. That Three of Cups is the ability to be out, you know, starry nights, joyfulness, you know, really enjoying life, the best that life has to offer. At a purely emotional level, you want to feel that passion and happiness and laughter and the camaraderie. As you move forward here, you have someone coming into your life that is all about doing the work, getting to know you. You know, there's a song that says, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. And that is what's coming in for you. This is very strong Virgo energy. It might be somebody just a little bit less experienced in life, could be somebody a little bit younger. They could be very wise and very successful, but they are really studying you. This is a sign of somebody who wants to master a relationship with you. They don't have all of the coins yet. When we get to the nine of coins, there's mastery, but they are 80% of the way there. They only have a little bit to go with you. What we're seeing here, Leo, that's hidden in your energy is that you have a very intense need for love. It looks as though you may have a Scorpio energy coming in to greet you. I'm getting that. This is might even be somebody that has a secret crush on you. Um, the Scorpio energy is someone who is very balanced. And you're very balanced right now. So you want someone who's going to be very balanced. Um, you like someone who also knows how to be discreet. So although that you're although you're a Leo and you like to have all that bright sunny, you have all that powerhouse charisma, you also are very much in need of somebody who has the ability to uh, be very very quiet with you, to nest with you, to enjoy the best parts of a very private life. Oh, you're going to have you may have someone coming in from the past. This is a reunion card. It's Scorpio, very strong Scorpio energy here. So it really is. This is someone that I feel as though you may have had a relationship with in the past. There may be a rebirth, but if not, it's somebody that you may have known and have never connected with on a more intimate level. It could be somebody that you knew from afar, somebody that's been watching you, and I mean in the good way, you know, somebody who just notices you. 
It could be someone very close to you too, physically, is what I'm sensing. Your outcome at this time is the Pisces energy of the moon. It really speaks to the fact that you're, you're feeling very emotional right now. You're feeling a bit underwater, but you're also very courageous in moving forward. You're very much willing to go through and go through the process of having a very happy love life. So we have a lot of good energy. Look at people who want to get to know you. We get this beautiful energy of somebody rushing in to talk to you and somebody who has very strong nostalgic feelings about you from the past. And Spirit is very much supportive of that relationship. So let's see, what do we have here in the recent past for, for communication with new love or somebody who wants to see you? The Seven of Wands, you have a lot of people pursuing you. That energy is your energy, Leo. That energy means that you have so many suitors that you have to defend yourself against them. So if you are online, on social media, you know, on the dating sites or anything like that, I see that you get lots of communication. But you know what? You're looking for the one. You're very discriminating. That's what we see when we see the Scorpio King and the death card we get you're very discriminating you want a relationship that's very tender-hearted but also doesn't have an overwhelming a mystery to it you want somebody who's very discreet very loving very tender somebody that you can spend a lot of alone time with and enjoy them but we really see this energy that you're just really not interested and the masses you know it's like oh I can't take it anymore I don't want so much attention you want what you want and you're gonna hold out for what you want four of coins energy really speaks to being very down-to-earth you may be attracting a Capricorn the energy of somebody rushing towards you right now Leo is temperance Ooh, there is someone around you who wants a reconciliation that Sagittarius energy you know, it's a sister, brother, sign of yours. Uh, you have a guardian angel guarding your love life right now. Somebody wants to speak to you and tell you something, and I feel as though it's a Scorpio energy, either Scorpio or Cancerian energy. Somebody wants to come in. There you go, Leo. There you are in your own reading. They want to come in. I feel as though they may also have a Leo placement in their chart. But you have someone who's enough like yourself and enough like the private person that you are. This is going to be a great match for you. The sun card and the, you know, we have a few days of summer left and it looks 10 of coins. Virgo energy again. Wow, you could be dealing with somebody who has a combination of, you know, sun and moon. Virgo and uh, Leo energy themselves. Very interesting. That is a legacy marriage. You are on your way to a legacy relationship in which you will be extremely happy. In terms of rebirthing your love life, we really see this page energy. The page, this is the page of wands, throwing caution to the winds. You're joyful, you're happy, you're childlike. You want somebody who's playful. That's what I see coming in for you. Somebody who is as playful as you are. But you know, Leo, you also have pride and dignity and elegance. And you need someone who possesses those qualities also with you. And that heartfelt space of being tender look at that the three of pentacles energy i love it you're meeting someone who's very much a person who likes to collaborate someone who would like to say hey let's do a project let's go you know redo the kitchen or let's go plan a trip to italy you know it's it's the energy of really planning and collaborating on a beautiful life at a practical level the high priestess has been here twice there is somebody around you leo somebody in your life that's very discreet that's very loving i feel as though this person secretly loves you or you may secretly love them i feel as though there's not a lot of talk but there sure is a lot of deep love between the two of you and here we have it again six of cups the same card is repeating itself so i feel very much leo that you may be dealing with someone with 
cancer in their in their um, chart. I was going to say cancer in their heart, but they do have a lot of love in their heart. So that is what the Cancerian placements are. We have Scorpio energy again. Very much the energy of rebirth. I feel as though you've had a very quiet, secret relationship with somebody. Not necessarily a hidden relationship, but a relationship that's very discreet. And I feel as though that person and you are developing a much closer relationship with one another. I don't think you're particularly talking about it, though. So take it as it resonates. It'll be different for everyone. The Queen of Cups. Lots of love here. Leo, you want to be loved so deeply, and you have too much pride to ask for it. You, But you need and want someone who's really there for you. Someone's coming in, again, strong Virgo energy, coming in to offer you a cup of love. Look at that. Very, very intensely emotional energy. But a reading that's very grounded in the practical elements of life. I'm really getting the feeling that the passion's going to be off the charts. It's going to be, how is this possible? I have passion. I have my best friend. I have my... My confidant, the person I like to be out in public with, we have an abundant life, we have happiness. And it really is the energy that speaks to the fact that you're going to move forward very quickly. Magician energy, a strong Virgo in Gemini component gives the relationship tremendous communication. Boy, when it's, it's a very powerful, powerful relationship. And for some of you, I think it's an old relationship. You have, for many of you, the Temperance card is somebody returning. The Six of Cups card you've had uh, twice is somebody returning. Somebody's coming back to really do the work. The Death and Rebirth you know, energy is very powerful. So I feel for many of you, this is somebody you know very much who it is. For others, it will be someone that you regenerate your love life with. But look at this. You're the queen of pentacles going forward. You're very much in your power. You're very much in very grounded, very happy, very willing to do the work of nurturing in the relationship or your person is. That's what you're attracting as someone who is going to be very generous. There are some questions that you have around this person. There's a feeling of worry or concern that you have. I'm getting and look at this, the King of Wands, there you are in your reading. It looks as though you've had a fear that this person hasn't really been there for you. But look at the outcome card. You have the Legacy Marriage card. You have the Legacy Happily Ever After card. And my little puppy wants to talk to me. So what's the matter, Miss Rose? We have to finish. We need to finish for Leo. Our Leo friends want to get the end of their reading. We have this beautiful Scorpio energy. The hidden love is tremendous. It's deep. Again, could be a Scorpio. Right now, you don't really see this coming. There's still some uncertainty, but there is a strategic plan in place. Look at this. I do feel as though there's some old wounds here, again, lending to the fact that somebody that you've loved very deeply is returning. You know, there is a lot of concern. It looks like they're traveling to see you. Two travel cards coming in very quickly. Look at this in the chariot card. That's Honey, I'm Home, baby. That is a great energy card for moving forward very quickly in this relationship. So what we have here for the Six of Cups, look at a new beginning in love, throwing caution to the winds after a period of time in which you felt like you were sitting around and waiting, but you are closing out the old cycle and you are beginning anew with your person again. This is, has been a person who's been a best friend Leo energy. Look at this energy. So here comes the sun, baby cakes, <laughs> as my mom used to say to us when we were children. Here comes the sun, baby. And what we see is that you've been underwater, but no need to. Leo, here's your energy, the strength. 
you have had the strength to power through. You've had the strength to hold the faith and the vision. And there you have it, your new love relationship. And I feel very much it's whoever it is that you've been wishing for is coming forward with the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, two Aces with the Strength card. So the energy that I have for you, Leo, is quite beautiful. I'm looking forward to your your notations below. Tell me what's going on. It's been a joy bringing this reading to you. Good luck with your reunion slash new beginning in love. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.